it's really hard to describe Gene in one word, but I guess if I had to pick a single word, uh, the word that would come to me in mind is gentleman. Uh, he's a gentleman and a class act in everything that he does, uh, both out in the community, in business, uh, and in his personal relationships with people. Commitment. Uh, Gene has always uh, been committed to any organization that he takes part in. He's never wanted to be just the name on a letterhead. Uh, and when you get Gene into any position, he's fully committed. He brings his intellect, his out-of-the-box thinking, and a good sense of humor to any meeting. Golf in the metropolitan area is so blessed to have had the support of Gene Bernstein for so long. Uh, whether it was bringing the uh, Champions Tour Long Island Classic uh, to the area, uh, his leadership as president of the Metropolitan Golf Association, uh, and now uh, as the chairman of the board uh, of the First Tee of Metropolitan New York. Uh, it, it's all these and so many other things. When I think of Gene, I think about the contributions that he's made to the community. When his company was the sponsor of the Northville, it was a great golf tournament, brought golf to Long Island, made it real on Long Island, but it also contributed millions of dollars to Schneider's Children's Hospital to help them help young people. He then went on now to be the chairman, the Metropolitan Chairman of First Tee. First Tee is also an organization which helps young people, gives them an access to golf, and teaches them uh, the business life lessons that they need to be successful. So in addition to Gene's uh, great golf contributions, it really is contributions to the community that I think really makes him particularly deserving of this award. You know, a lot of people, you want to join a committee and they put your name up there. And that's never been Gene thing. He selects the organizations and causes he wants to support. But once he selects it, he wholeheartedly, both he and his wife Kathy in many cases, uh, participate. They don't just give money, they get other people involved. Uh, and they give the most important thing besides the funds that we all need for these uh, philanthropic organizations, he gives his time and energy. And that's absolutely vital to keep these organizations going. It's that continuous uh, giving back to the game of golf uh, that Gene's being recognized for and that really truly capture the spirit of what the Samson Need Award is all about. Gene is deserving of this award for all that he's given to golf and his participation in many of the golf organizations has helped the game grow and has brought many people into golf through First Tee, uh, through the work that the MGA has done with the PGA and the First Tee organization. A true gentleman who is truly deserving of this award, not only because of his contributions to golf, but his contributions to the larger community. First, I was very surprised, and secondly, I was very honored. Um, I went immediately to Google and looked it up and saw who some of the past winners were and there's some people that I've worked with uh, in the past in different you know golf areas and some people I haven't worked with but I know well and have great admiration for it so to be included with them was quite an honor. Well I certainly want to thank my father uh, for getting me interested in the game. Um, I was an avid baseball player when I was a kid and I was an all-star in Little League and whatever and in 1959, he took us up on Friday to the U.S. Open at Wingfoot, and it was my first experience of a golf tournament. I had taken some lessons, but hadn't really made the transition from a passion for baseball to a passion for golf. A couple of days later, we played in a father-son tournament at Engineers, and we came in third, and I was hooked. It was also my father and brother who, along with myself, started the Northville Long Island Classic, which we ran here in Meadowbrook for about 16 or 17 years, so that was uh, a great pleasure to be doing that. Uh, I'd also thank Don Hedler, he's a good friend. You know, we met as members at Glenhead Country Club. We were friendly competitors and played a lot of golf together, and he got involved in the MGA and then approached me about getting involved. And I had kind of resisted getting involved, but the MGA seemed to be a different animal. and much more interesting because of the work that they were doing in the foundation to help grow golf. I need to thank my wife because it's a lot of time <laughs> that goes into it. Um, right now, especially at the first tee, we have a, a terrific a new executive director, but he's a little bit young and um, you know, I spend a lot of time with him, uh, helping him do a great job. 
you know, doing giving back to golf is it's a great pleasure. I have gotten so much from golf my whole life, and um, absolutely think it's the greatest sport in the world. And you know, all the things that it can teach you, especially stuff, for example, that we're doing in the first seat with kids, teaching them life skills about responsibility, sportsmanship, honesty, integrity, stuff like that. Uh, made many, many great friendships over the years with people I've met playing golf, and um, it's given me a lot of personal pleasure. I've been able to shoot my age a few times and, you know, win a few tournaments here and there, and it's just a great game.